Hey friends, welcome back. And if you just stumbled across this video, welcome. My name is Delicia and here on my channel, I share all things home, home decor, simplistic and cozy decorating, and so much more geared around home life. In this video, I'm sharing with you all how I am decorating my coffee bar for Valentine's Day. So if you're ready like I am, let's jump right on in. Giving you a little overview of everything that I'll be using in this year's Valentine's Day coffee bar. A lot of it was shopped from my home. A lot of it was shopped from the Dollar Tree. The only thing that wasn't either from my home or the Dollar Tree are those mugs back there from Target. So I'm using these canisters here with the gold lids. And if you saw my organization video, I came about uh, or finding that teacup right there that I almost forgot I had. And from the Dollar Tree, what I decided I wanted to put in these canisters are a little uh, goodies here, a few goodies from the Dollar Tree. We have some heart marshmallows for hot chocolate and also some white fudge covered pretzels, the flips. And if I can dig under here, these are white peanut butter hearts. So I will be putting these in these canisters here. Now these signs are also from the Dollar Tree. I want to do a little DIY sign with hopes that it works out fine. So this one obviously says be mine and the other two hearts are unfinished. I will give you an update on how things go later on in the video. And I will be reusing this tree if you saw my winter decorate with me for this coffee bar. It's still winter and things look a little frosty outside so I'm going to use that. And I put the little cheesecake or the cheese board with the dome for some goodies later. So this isn't really a tutorial whatsoever but I sort of wanted you to see the process or the before of me doing this um Valentine's sign for the coffee bar that I had in my mind. So obviously you remember that all of these hearts are from the Dollar Tree and they had hangers or like little jute string or rope and that one had like a ribbon in it. I took all of that out. Of course it leaves holes here, but I don't care. I'm not giving it to anybody. It's totally fine. It's mine. What I've done so far, I've taken a little hot glue right at the edges of both of these unfinished hearts here. If I had something like um, tongue depressor or popsicle sticks, whatever you call them, the craft sticks, I would probably put it underneath or behind these two because you see they do flop like butterfly wings, but this hot glue is dry. so. It's, it's stuck together, but it would be nice if it was a little more stable. But I guess once it's on the wall, that shouldn't be a problem. The next step that I want to do is to take the Be Mine sign and put it here like that. And I think I want to paint, well, I know I want to paint the two unfinished hearts somewhat with that pink color right there. I went in one of my daughter's stashes of paint and I'm gonna have to make a pink. So hopefully I can mix uh, red and white and get that shade a little bit. She does also have um, this bright pink that I can possibly lighten up a little bit with the white, but I'm gonna have to do some experimenting. I'm so blessed that um, she is an artist of many kinds. She loves a lot of different art, so a lot of things that I need, <laughs> she pretty much still has here uh, with painting and even like photography stuff. So thanks for leaving that here at mom and dad's house, sweetie. So I'm going to see um, if I can get this color right here and hopefully we can create what I had in my mind. 
So this is what the unfinished wood hearts looks like with using the hot pink and a little bit of white. This is the shade that I got. And I'm liking it. Everything's adhered together. The only thing is on the heart on the right side, I had a little bit of darker pink that I thought that I could outline and make a little ombre type of design. I don't really like the way it turned out, so I'm gonna tone everything down, make everything look the same, and I'm gonna show you all what it looks like next on the wall. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So if you remember the cheese board with the glass dome at the beginning of the video, I said I wanted to put some goodies in here, so I decided to make some red velvet cupcakes. And actually these are some that are left over that I will not be putting in the dome. I can only get maybe about five of them in there. So these will be left over for whoever wants some. So let's go on over and start decorating some cupcakes.
if you're new here and you're enjoying this video and you'd like to see more just like this one, make sure that you are subscribed and don't forget to click on that notification bell. That way you never have to worry when I upload a new video because you will be notified. Until next time, make sure you're caught up on this video. See you soon.